Hello, this is Tom Phillips. This is Salem Songwriter Sessions. Our guest today is Terry Robb. This is our first session with him. I hope you enjoy. appreciate you being on the show. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You know, great guitarist. Thank uh, you. Why the blues? Well, I mean, I started playing the blues guitar when I was a kid because I was attracted to it, but I don't really just play all blues because um, what I, I'm associated with it because um, that's the style I learned how to play and that's the technique I apply to everything. It's like if a classical guitar player plays a blues song or jazz song, he's still considered a classical guitar player. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. Yeah. You, so yeah. do you do, what kind of other music do you? Well, you, with the guitar summer, we play all kinds of pop music and, and some, a lot of swing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and in my acoustic trio, we do a lot of swing and some bossa nova and things like that. Right. But I comes out with a blues feel because that's the technique I learned. Yeah. Now, speaking of technique, you, you have a finger style technique. I do. And um, where did you get that from? Where did, who did you study to obtain that? Well, it was guys like Mississippi John Hurt and uh, Charlie Patton and, uh, and even electric guitar players like uh, Hubert Sumlin and mm -hmm. John Fahey, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, John, Elizabeth Cotton. Yeah, yeah. John, being, John Fahey being an actual resident of Salem, a longtime resident of he Salem was. before he passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your association with him? Uh, well, John, I produced John uh, for about 11 years records, his records, and he was one of my closest friends. And um, he had heard a demo of mine, and on that demo I'd, I'd record a song called uh, One Way Gal <coughs> by William Moore, <coughs> excuse me, which is kind of an obscure blues song, and he really was impressed by that. And he sent me a Christmas card and said he'd like to meet me, and we got to be friends. I, I met him at a show, and we um, 
exchanged Charlie Patton songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was working on one, I was working on one. And after being friends for about a year, he asked me to produce his next record because he had just signed a rounder at the time. Mm -hmm. And then we made some records together. Yeah, now he uh, he was a finger styles guitarist. So Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and um, was he was he rooted in blues too? Or? Oh yeah, very much the so. blues and classical. He he picked up a lot of classical themes because he was influenced by particularly orchestral classical music. Okay. But the, his technique was like um, Etta Baker or somebody like that. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, Terry, the creative process, as far as for songwriting, you know, the blues is pretty much the same arrangements over and over again. So how do you approach your original tunes um, to be fresh? Well, I mean, the early blues stuff is not 12-bar blues. And, and you have, like, Blind Lemon Jefferson and Skip James and Charlie Patton, and these guys had rules they stuck to, but they all had their own music. I kind of liken it to the Impressionist composers they all had these sort of rules but they all sounded different you know Debussy and Ravel sounded different but how do I well I just pick up whatever I like I mean I'll take a theme from an uh, I'll play like a Elizabeth Cotton sort of thing and then I'll take a theme I heard on an opera mm -hmm. or Radiohead it doesn't matter whatever I hear a melody I'll throw it in there just because I like it mm -hmm. also with twist the, it around yeah your lyrics, as far as that's concerned, is that a challenge for you? Because I, I can tell you, watching you play, the, the music part is not a challenge for you other than probably to be as creative as you possibly can because of how outstanding of a guitarist you are. But do the lyrics, are they tougher for you? No, not particularly. I just didn't sing today because it's early in the morning. That, that yeah. was my fault, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guitar yeah. center, and you know. I, you know, I sing you know, uh, enough. I don't sing a, a lot. I like to sing, but I don't like to sing a lot. I mean, nobody's coming to see me to sing. They're coming to see me play guitar, I would assume. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I don't really have a hard time writing songs. Um, 
I wish I wrote more often. I have a tendency to write when I have to, like if I have a project coming up, a record or something. The first time that I saw you was actually in a small town in Idaho. Uh, really? Back in the late 90s, you were touring with Curtis Salgado. Oh, huh. Doing uh, that acoustic album that you guys did together. He didn't quit it, yeah. Yeah, and you were touring with uh, Steve Miller. We at were, the yeah. Time. We were, yeah, that's right. They, was that a little town north of Up Boise? in the mountains, yeah. You were there? Yeah. I remember it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> little theater, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, rem I remember that. It was outstanding. I think people came out of that just completely elated. It, just, um, it was just the two of us, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. but it was tremendous. That absolutely was fun. tremendous. Yeah. Um, how was that tour for you? That seems like for me uh, uh, that would be a, like a high point in your your career to be well, touring. It was fun. With, you know? Yeah, it was fun. We had went back east and we were on the Conan show. Right. And uh, yeah, Curtis and I had a neat thing. We we played that music. We both loved that music, and we we played it well together. I thought. Um, how was uh, working with Steve Miller? Because I know I saw the the clip on YouTube on uh, Kona. Uh, mm -hmm. And where he's playing uh, with you guys. You're playing slide guitar, actually. On yeah, it was one. a song that Curtis and I wrote called yeah. Bitter Tears. Yeah. And uh, Steve's a great guy. He's yeah, a really did, nice person. Yeah, and he came out on stage with you, didn't he, during your he set? He did. Um, I think part of the deal to, get, to be on the show was Steve had to play with us. Ah. You know, and we said, sure, why not? Yeah. You know, he's a friend. It was really nice of him to do that, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. So you toured all over, and that, was that a, are you doing a lot of that now, and was that a, a high point for you as far as? No, I mean, it, 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 was, it wasn't a particularly a real high point. I mean, but yeah, I go out on the road. I'm not going out so much this summer because I'm, I'm working on another record project, and, we're, we're, and the record just kind of came out in April, so mm -hmm. we're kind of gearing up to go out next year. Oh, great. You know, last year I was out quite a bit. I was in Europe for over a month. And, and how do yeah. people respond to you in Europe? They like it a lot. They like American music over there very much. Yeah. The Italians are very good at playing it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And I'm half Italian, so yeah. the food's great. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Going home. So. Yeah.
What I started to see, or what I've been noticing, is that the blues probably influences all popular music well, absolutely. today. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's the American thing. I mean, it's in bluegrass, it's in country, it's in, obviously in jazz. I mean, American music is great because it's a combination of many different cultures, mm -hmm. just like America is. In, in the American music, you have uh, the African element and you have the European element. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the European element in jazz is very obvious. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's no pianos in Africa at, yeah. at the time, you know. <laughs> Thumb the, pianos. <laughs> yeah, the, the instruments that mm -hmm. they use, saxophones and things like that, mm -hmm. that would be the European in influence. And the harmony, because the African music, like um, uh, Arabic music or Indian music, is what you might call modal. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of harmony going on. And so when there's harmony introduced, that would be a European thing. Yeah. It's great. It works really well when it, stuff comes here and gets all thrown together and turns into Hank Williams. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it turns into Hank Williams. Yeah. Uh, and so you must, and, um, you, you must you know, also mention the Jewish element mm -hmm. of songwriting, a popular song. It, yeah. Explain that. Well, in Tin Pan Alley, you had a lot of Jewish people writing songs that brought stuff from their culture, and that seeped, in, I mean, seeped into songs like by Hank Williams and people, too. Mm -hmm. People don't tend to mention that too much. Yeah, I, I yeah. wonder why. That's, to be honest with you, that's the first time I've heard that. Well, so. yeah, I mean, you look at Irving Berlin and all those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, so today, Terry, uh, what's going on with you? you? We've mentioned your new, your new, uh, your new album, but mm -hmm. what are you doing to, to keep alive, to well, keep fed? Well, I, pro <laughs> I produce a lot. I produce a lot of different people, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm promoting this new record, but I'm also starting on a record of all of hymns, solo guitar of hymns I'm doing for the Catholic Church. Nice. Some of them are old traditional Gregorian type hymns and some are just spirituals. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm working on right now. Yeah, there's a, I'm, you're familiar with, I think it's John Michael Talbot and uh, he's a, a Catholic uh, a minister actually, mm -hmm. a very good guitarist and it's, oh. he's done that mm -hmm. himself. So you might want to take well, a I'll listen. Check it out, absolutely. Yeah, he's exceptional yeah. singer and mm -hmm. guitar player also. Well, this would be all instrumentals. Yeah. And uh, I did a record for them 20 years ago, a, a Christmas record. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a, one of hymns now. But you, you're basically a full-time musician working out of Portland, Oregon. I have been since I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a good that's a great privilege for you. Uh, I, yeah, I don't take it for granted. Yeah, absolutely great. not. I, yeah. Well, we really appreciate you being part of the show, and oh, well, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, you know we uh, it was tough for us to keep up with you, but oh, uh, no, you guys are great. Yeah. And I really appreciate uh, you coming down from Portland to be part of the same sure. show. Sure. So All right. thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right. <laughs>
Do you like that? Yeah. No, she, I gave her the peppy. Oh, that was good. <laughs> but yeah. you know, it's funny because if you're not too peppy, you look like you're falling oh, yeah. asleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? You want, what are we going to do? Same thing. Let's just. Oh, you want to do the same one? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hello, this is Tom Phillips. This is Salem Songwriter I'm Sessions. Applause. Yeah, I got yeah. <laughs> Glad you got that. Ready? Hey. Okay. Hello, this is Tom. <laughs> and don't, don't follow the camera. Yeah, you want you. Okay. All right, here we go. We got that out there. You ready? <laughs>